Hi, my name is June Kim and I'm with the Think Blue team. Welcome to our Think Blue Medicare series with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. Today, we're gonna to talk about Medicare supplements. So many of you might have heard of Medicare supplements or Medigap plan, okay? And this is in addition to what the word says, Medicare supplement, is to supplement your original Medicare. So hopefully you have tuned in to our Understanding Medicare series and you'll get a great idea of how Medicare supplements actually work. So Medicare supplements work with your original Medicare, which is Part A and Part B. And so we're gonna go to the 10 things that you should know about Medicare supplements. All right, let's go at it. Number one, original Medicare is not designed to pay for 100% of your healthcare expenses. So hence, uh, uh, original Medicare will pay 80% of um, your Medicare expenses, the other 20% you are liable for, or hopefully you can get a Medicare supplement, okay? Um, so number two, you must have a Medicare Part A and B to qualify for a Medicare supplement, all right? So that means you need both parts of Medicare, Part A, the hospital, Part B, your doctors and medical, okay? Number three, you may go to any doctor and any hospital in the 50 United States that takes original Medicare and they'll be happy to provide services for you. This is very different than a Medicare Advantage plan. Remember, it's very localized and you have to live in the area that you have that Medicare Advantage plan with, okay? Medicare supplement I call is kind of like a PPO on steroids, okay? Any doctor, any hospital in the 50 United States that takes med original Medicare will be more than happy to provide care for you. All right, number four, the six month initial enrollment period for getting part B is what we call guaranteed issue for a Medicare supplement. So normally in the perfect world, when you turn 65, obviously you're gonna sign up for Medicare, part A, because uh, if you've already paid into the system, part A may be free for you. Part B is not free. So you wanna hold off if you're still working because part B is actually being paid by your employer. So you do not wanna double pay. And the other reason you don't want to uh, start on part B right away, unless you're fully retired, is because from the six months of getting part B initially, that is what we call guaranteed issue for getting a Medicare supplement. Okay, so that means Guaranteed issue means we're not gonna ask you any sort of medical questions whatsoever. Okay, so that is an easy time to get a Medicare supplement of within six months of getting Part B. This is really, really important because if you are still working, you wanna make sure that you are within that guaranteed issue right, okay, of getting Part B. Otherwise, you will have to go through medical underwriting and if you do have any major medical conditions, you may be denied for a Medicare supplement. All right, number five, um, Medicare supplements are identified by letters, just like regular Medicare, A, B, and C, and D, but they are identified with letters from A through N. But the good thing about Medicare supplement is that they are standardized. So no matter what company you go with, a plan G with Blue Cross Blue Shield is a plan G with any other company, okay? So they're very standardized. Um, number six, you cannot have a Medicare supplement and a Medicare Advantage plan at the same time. So a Medicare Advantage plan is an all-in-one plan that includes basically um, all you need for Medicare. You do not want to get a supplement because that's too much insurance, okay? So if you want to go through a Medicare supplement route, you will go through your original Medicare route with your Part A and Part B. You will have a separate drug plan and then you can get that Medicare supplement. You will technically you may have three cards on this route. You will have your red, white, and blue Medicare card. You will have a separate drug plan card, and you may have a separate Medicare supplement card. So three cards. I know that's a lot of cards, but uh, with those three cards, you can get care within the any, any of the 50 United States um, that takes original Medicare, and they'll be more than happy to provide service for you. All right, number seven, Medicare supplement plans only cover one person. So if both you and your spouse are gonna get a supplement plan, you will both need separate plans, okay? And just because your spouse may get a plan G 
doesn't necessarily mean you get a plan G. It may work out differently. It depends on your needs, okay? So Medicare is not a one-size-fit-all product. It depends and it's very specialized to what you are needing, what care you are needing, what specialists, what doctors you may need to see, okay? Number eight, this is really important. Um, you will have premiums with a Medicare supplement. You will be paying them monthly, but that's not to say that you forego on paying your Part B premiums. Okay, um, so Part B is everything outside the hospital services. You will be needing to continue to pay that Part B premium for your doctors, for your labs, and for any preventative care. So along with your supplement, you will continue to pay for your Part B premium. Because remember, in the beginning I said you will, in order to get a Medicare supplement, you will need that Part A and you will need that Part B. All right, number nine. Medicare Select Plans, there are such um, products called Medicare Select Plans. They are not within the DFW Metroplex or in large cities. They are in more rural areas where basically you only have one hospital. So it's easier for a plan provider like ourselves to contract with that one hospital and obviously give you lower rates, okay? But they are not um, in the Metroplex area. All right, and number 10, guaranteed issue once you are a member. So although you need to be healthy, if you are outside of your guaranteed issue right, remember six months from getting Part B, um, once you get in a Medicare supplement, we cannot deny you any services as long as you are paying your premiums. So with Blue Cross Blue Shield, our members are called members. Okay, so as long as you're a member and you continue to pay your premiums, you will not be denied any services, nor will you be denied a Medicare supplement as long as you continue to pay your premiums. Okay, so there's a lot of things to get to know about a Medicare supplement. The main thing is, is number one, it's very, very different than the Medicare Advantage plan. And number two, the services that you can get from a Medicare supplement is very, very broad. Like I said, you can use any doctor, any hospital within the 50 United States that take original Medicare and they'll be more than happy to service you. All right, now, do we have any questions regarding Medicare supplement? No? Okay, great. Well, tune in next time for another series on our Medicare topics. And we thank you so much for coming today.